Emma, imagine this. You're an essential worker in the middle of this pandemic, and if that wasn't stressful enough, your shower wall crumbles, revealing major damage. Worse, it's the only shower in the house, and you have a family. Well, if you're lucky enough to be friends with the bro laws, things start to look up. Okay, guys, tell us more about the situation. So Sarah is a nurse and Ian is a teacher and, and these are really good friends of ours. They knew that the shower was going to need some work, but like, mo like most things in 2020, that went on the back burner until now. Yeah, because their shower literally crumbled apart. Tiles were falling off of the wall. The drywall behind it was crumbling apart. There was mold and mildew everywhere. And when we saw this, we really, really wanted to help them out. So we reached out to a few friends and suppliers of ours to see if they could jump on board. And honestly, the generosity that came around this family has blown us both away. Well, I know that you're friends with them, but I think everyone needs to know that you both are such beautiful people. You would probably do this for a stranger. You're both lovely, Dave and Joey, like in real life, off the screen. They're lovely people. So really great to see people step forward and help. Their jobs are stressful enough. So tell us a bit about the reno. Yeah, thanks for saying that, Tracy. And any good renovation starts off with protecting the house around it. So we put down some boss man floor protection around the stairs and the surrounding area to be able to protect the house through this gross demo. Yeah, any shower that we demo is gonna be disgusting and this one was no different. <laughs> the water had been getting through the cracked grout joints. It got in and saturated the drywall in behind the tile because there was no waterproof membrane there. It was worse than we were anticipating so we had to pull out the insulation, even cut out some of the subfloor because we had seen some mold growth. So we sprayed all that down to kill the mold and to prevent it from spreading in the future. Ooh, okay. I'm so glad you were able to get rid of that mold. Now, once you had the walls and the floor cleaned up, uh, what's the next step? Well, next, our amazing plumber, Cam from CDN Plumbing. He's always been there for us, and when we reached out to him with this problem, he jumped right on board. So he came in and installed a brand new American Standard tub as well as all of the rough ins for all of the beautiful fixtures. Yeah, and then one of the big things that was missing from the old shower, and honestly from a lot of subdivision showers that we have to demo, is proper waterproofing. You can't just use that green moisture drywall mm -hmm. and then put tile right on it. That board is meant to prevent mold growth. It's not a waterproof barrier. So we put up new drywall and then we put this waterproof barrier on it. That's Ardex 8 plus 9. It's a two-part mixture. It's a latex and a mortar that you mix together, paint it right on the drywall. Now you have a waterproof barrier that you can tile right onto. Amazing. So it's sure not to leak in the future, which is great. What tile did you end up using? Well, this was actually a really amazing story as well. So a friend of ours, Clint, who's also known as the Tile Freak, I reached out to him just to see if he had any suppliers in the area that might be able to help us out, jump on board. But when he heard that it was for a nurse, he wanted to help out personally. So Clint and his amazing team from King Tile and Marble, they decided to install and supply these beautiful full panel porcelain slabs. Yeah, they're five foot by 10 foot Ooh. slabs that they pre-cut at their shop so that they fit perfectly and there's no grout joints. They also have a marble print on them. So you have the look of natural stone, but you don't have the maintenance and it's a fraction of the cost. That is incredible. See, I love the idea of using a slab. I love getting rid of the grout lines. Uh, how long did this whole thing take or how long is it going to take? <laughs> We've spun this around pretty quick yeah. for them because it is their only shower in their house. So we jumped onto it quickly. Thankfully, all the suppliers were able to get us what we needed quick so we got this done around three four days for them in and out um, all we had to do is finish up by painting up the ceiling yeah. filling some little cracks here and there for them put in the American Standard fixtures and now they've got a shower that they can get back into and we wanted to get them back into their regular routine as fast as possible so that they can continue controlling the chaos of the kids and being the amazing superheroes that they are oh my Look at that, isn't it beautiful? These are good friends of ours and they both have such great hearts. They've always been giving to us mm -hmm. over the years that we've known them. So it was actually kind of odd for them to receive a gift, uh, but we just feel so blessed that we were able to do that. We're trying to make 2021 the year of happiness and the year of giving back to people. So yeah. this was just a great way to kick it off for us. What a great goal, 2021, the year of joy and happiness and giving back. I love this story. I love you too. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> really appreciate that.